So, Luca, a 1-1 draw away at West Isbury in Shorten this afternoon. Uh, just your thoughts on the game? Yeah, listen, I uh, thought we were well in it. I thought we played well. I thought we were decent first half. Played well second half and then, you know, fair play to them. They battered us the last 15, 20 minutes and we've had to hold on again. But, I mean, you know, we're a team down the bottom of the division with a massive injury crisis here and here. So, you know, it's all about character and belief. And we've shown that in abundance to, you know, I can go through the entire team and tell you how well they've all played and how everyone's put a shift in and... I mean, to a certain extent, it's a given to do that, isn't it? But, I mean, when you're stepping up and you're coming to these places, like I said, these are a very good side. You know, I love the way we play. Strikers are one of the best in the league. And, you know, there'll be teams that come here and get absolutely hammered this season. We've come, we've shown our teeth, and we've had chances to win it ourselves. Uh, happy with the point overall? Like you say, a lot of players putting shifts in against such a tough team. I think you know me well enough now, James, that I'm not happy with the point ever, but... I think in these situations like today, you've got to just reflect on it and say, this is a tough place to come. Would I have put my house on us getting a point before the game? Definitely not. So you've got to be you know, really happy with coming away with a point. Yeah, three really tough away games, get a point from them, then move on to two home games now. Paddy on Tuesday and Cole on Saturday. I mean, again, we've got to be a little bit realistic, haven't we? We've played Berry at home, Kendall away, Wibbenshaw away and West Didsbury away. If, if I set a points target of six or seven points, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely dreaming, aren't I? So, you know, to nick a point here sets us up great for the next three games with Paddy and Lee Colm and the uh, Gloss up. And we'll go and give 110% in them. And if we show the same character and endeavour that we did on Tuesday night and that we haven't done again, then that's where we'll pick up our points, hopefully. Um, Got to keep working. You know, the senior players have really stepped up and the young lads are working absolute balls off behind them. You know, so it was a, it was a, what you would call a well-deserved point today. You know, we definitely didn't deserve to get beat. So it's great that we've come here and we've got the point and we go home happy and prep ourselves ready for Tuesday. A lot of players putting shifts in, like the Regan, Josh Few, etc. Uh, just thoughts on those? Yeah, fantastic. Listen, there's loads of question marks over those sorts of players. You know, we're taking some players from lower divisions and we're giving them a chance here. And every one of them stepped up and absolutely smashed through the glass and been brilliant for us. I mean, anybody tells me that Josh Fiont is one of our best players in his last couple of games, I call him a liar. And, you know, I'd say three three weeks ago, we had a conversation and he questioned himself whether he could step up and do it. But he has done it. And again, one of the best players on the park again today. And if everybody came with his heart and desire, then we'd be absolutely flying. But we brought those sorts of players in. Josh Few, Regan, Scotty, all lads from lower divisions. And we've given them the platform and they're producing for us, so happy days and long may it continue.